Hi, I'm Melissa from Northline Express, and in today's video, I want to cover with you some of the wood burning accessories that I just can't live without. There's an abundance of accessory items out there that are going to be must have items, but these are ones that I've actually tried, I've loved, and they're ones that as long as I continue to use wood, I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with the most obvious of the accessories for a wood burner, and that's going to be a good log splitter. Now I've got here, and what I personally use is the Woody's 4-ton electric log splitter. The current model is orange, and you'll see that mine here is yellow, but I've had this one for about five years, and I haven't had any reason to replace it or upgrade to the new orange version. It is small, it is electric, but it's been a powerful little accessory for me and one that I wouldn't live without. I'd be stuck with a split and maul and that's a lot of hard work and I'd never be able to get everything done that I need for the burning season by hand. It's definitely been a great time saver and it's a back saver as well for me. Now this is a small lug splitter. The Woody's also it has a 7 ton version which is going to be able to handle a little bit bigger load. Or if you've got a lot of firewood that you're processing, there's also larger gas models that we offer from the Dirty Hand Tools line. Um, I also have a separate video on choosing a log splitter that'll be helpful if you want to watch that. There's a link down in the description. Um, but that'll be a good um, idea for you to check out what log splitter is going to be best for you. The 4-ton works great for me in my situation, but you might have a lot more firewood that you need to move, or maybe you just like to have the biggest power tool there is for what you're trying to get done. So moving on, next I'm going to talk about the firewood moisture meter. This is the A.W. Perkins firewood moisture meter and it's definitely a small accessory but one that every wood burner I'm going to say should have. This um, little tool is going to give you a digital reading on its LED screen of the moisture level of your firewood. Why is that so important? Because actually any firewood with a moisture reading of 13% or higher should never make it into your fireplace or wood stove. You can do it but it's not going to be efficient. You're going to add to your creosote buildup because it's going to let those unburned particles get up into your flue. Your flue temperatures aren't going to get as high with wet wood, so that's going to make that condense up in there and create the creosote buildup. It's a really easy product to use. It just runs on one 9-volt battery, and you take the cover off here, and there's four prongs on it. Those prongs are going to poke into a split, non-bark covered end piece of your split firewood. It's going to give you that reading and let you know where your firewood is at. It's handy for if you get your firewood prepared early keeping track of where you're at, making sure everything's coming along nicely. I also like to keep it by the front door so when I'm choosing my firewood, I also make sure that I'm bringing in the most seasoned dry pieces to get burning. Cheap little tool, handy little tool, definitely one I think that any firewood burner should have. The next is our Mingo Firewood Marker. This is a great tool for those of you who it matters what size firewood you've got. If you've got a large outdoor burner, this isn't necessarily going to be as exciting of an accessory for you, but I have a small wood stove inside my home that requires only logs that are 16 inches or smaller. So we get our own firewood, so it's actually really nice. We've got the nice logs laid out, eight foot lengths. And all this does, you put in your can of spray paint and you roll it down the log and every 16 inches or so, whatever you set it to, it's gonna make your spray paint can mark your wood for you. It may seem like, oh, I could grab a tape measure and a can of spray paint and do that myself, but when you're out there trying to get a lot of firewood ready and cut up into rounds for you in an in a efficient manner, you're going to realize that walking down your log with this in one fluid motion is going to be a lot more efficient as well as easy rather than trying to master the tape measure and hope that you've got it right. And especially if you're trying to eyeball it, I've learned the hard way when it comes to eyeballing, I'm not always right and I've had logs that end up in a pile for the bonfire at the end of the year because they were never going to fit inside my wood stove. So if you've got a specific size log that you need, go with the Mingo Firewood Marker. It's a product made right here in the United States, which is also something that's really nice. And it's going to make getting your firewood ready for splitting a lot easier and make sure that you're consistently getting the same size log. The next accessory I'd like to talk about is a good firewood rack. I personally use the Woody's Expandable Firewood Rack. It's another American-made product, which is great because I always love to use and support American products. But one of the best things about this is you buy the original Woody's Log Rack. It's a four-foot log rack section, which is great for most uses, but it's also got expansion packs that you can add to it. You can get creative and add as many as you want, but each one is going to add another four-foot section or another face cross cords worth of firewood rack for you. And that's really nice because rather than having to go out and buy additional racks and line them all up together, you can keep your original rack and just continue to add to it. So it's truly a firewood rack that grows as your firewood needs grow with you. The other thing about the product is it's very easy to use. Two tools. 
a wrench and a ratchet and you're ready to go. Pretty easy and it doesn't get much better than that when it comes to putting something together. It's also made with square tubular steel, so it's very sturdy and has nice construction. And it also has a black powder coat finish, so it's going to maintain its good looks for a long time. I've had this rack up for a really long time and it's not really looking, it's looking like it's been outside for a while, but it's not rusty, it's not falling apart. It's very, got, it's got a lot of integrity to it, which is nice and something you don't always find with log racks nowadays. Another thing I really like about the Woody's Expandable Firewood Rack is that every four foot it's going to provide you a support. And why is that important? Because it's not only going to help keep your firewood supported, it's also going to help keep your cover supported. Now I'm sure you guys have seen somewhere either a homemade log rack or a really large manufactured log rack and it's got two end supports and this beautiful cover over it. Well that cover is going to droop and then as more as the snow builds up on it or the water builds up on it, it's only going to do that worse. Not so much the problem with the Woody's log rack because no matter how big you make it, every four foot there's going to be that support which is going to help prevent that pooling of water or snow on top of your log rack. It's a really good log rack. I've loved it. had great success success with it and like I said it's one that grows as your needs grow too. And my final accessory, it's one that some of you might find a little bit cheesy but it is definitely something I've learned to use and love and that's a good pair of fireplace gloves. These also could serve as work gloves if you needed to in a pinch but they're definitely something that's your tool that you're going to use more on the inside when it comes to stack, soaking up your wood stove or your fireplace. Of course there's fireplace tools like tongs or pokers that are designed for actually getting in there and moving around your wood. But as the longer I've burned firewood, I've started to notice that always those tools don't serve the best purpose that they need to. And sometimes it's easier just to get in there with your hands and put it where you need that piece of wood to be. However, if the wood's burning or been burning, it's not always capable of reaching in there with your bare hands. So these are non-asbestos felt lined suede leather gloves and they're very, they've got a long arm version and a shorter arm version. I've got the shorter arm version, but it's nice when you have the longer arm versions because it's going to also protect your arms and keep you from bumping stuff and getting burns anywhere else on your arm as well as protecting your hands. And I've tested and proven these gloves. In fact, check out my other video on the demonstration of the fire gloves. You'll see me actually pull a burning log out and hold on to it for a little bit with these gloves and I don't experience any burn through. So make sure you're grabbing yourself a pair of good fireplace gloves. As I've become a seasoned wood burner, they're definitely something I've learned that always are going to be in my wood burning accessories. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing about my favorite wood burning accessories, but if you've tried out one that you've come to know is something that's definitely something a wood burner should have, Definitely share with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. But if you've got questions about any of these or other wood burning accessories, definitely feel free to give us a call at 866-667-8454. At Northline Express, home of the buy and try satisfaction guarantee, we're always happy to help.